In order to stream using Microsoft Stream, a user has to be an admin or they have to be set as an unrestricted user. To do that in Stream, go to the Settings wheel, go to Admin Settings, and then on the left, the Administrators tab needs to have someone there who's going to be doing the live streaming or the live events preview, just make sure this is enabled, and then you can add someone's name here. Once you've added, click Save. That person is now going to be able to create live events. So when they do that, they'll go to the home page of Stream, create live event, default video language, for me English, and save. Okay, so once you have the screen, uh, you just need to title the event. So I'm going to do Elsbug test for launch SharePoint user group. A description, it can include hashtags, so I'm going to say 0365 and migration in case people want to search by those later. I don't have a thumbnail I want right now, maybe, maybe I'll add that later. Uh, language again is English, and then as soon as encoder is connected, so now. You could say I wanted to start at a certain time if you're scheduling this for an hour or so or even another day, but I'm going to go ahead and do it when the encoder is connected. Okay, uh, permissions shared with my groups. Uh, you can share it with the channel, you can share it with certain people. I'm just going to allow everyone to see it. And so options here, uh, people means that it's going to be tracking faces, which is really cool. So you can uh, search through the video and find a certain speaker. Uh, comments just means anybody who's going to be able to watch the video will be able to comment on it. And then another really cool feature is it does speech to text recognition. So it's going to automatically create closed captions. So that's all we want to do there. I'm going to go ahead and save. Okay, so now that's ready to go. So once you have that done, we're ready to set up our encoder. Click on Start Setup. And then if you scroll down here, it guides you step by step. So we need to copy the ingest URL. So this, I'm going to copy that first one. And then find your encoder. So for me, I use XSplit Broadcaster. Um, looks kind of funky there. But basically, when I first set it up, I go to uh, Broadcast, set up a new output. But since I'm broadcasting now, I can't. Uh, but one of your options uh, for a plugin is the custom RTMP. You just paste that ingest URL that we had as the stream and then put in other settings that you need. And then uh, you're pretty much finished there. And if I come back to stream, I can hit start event. There we go. So it's showing uh, what I've just done. It's just a little bit of a delay there. I can see what the audience sees if I want. Um, so there we go. It's just getting started there. Okay, so then as a producer, I can see this screen. And then as the audience is browsing, they can see this. Um, so it's pretty neat. They can skip around just like you can in YouTube during a live event. Uh, you can check out analytics while it's streaming. So no live viewers, how many views, how many likes. Uh, and then if I end the event, Okay, so when you're finished, I just went back to audience view here, and you can see the recording of the video in just a minute, 10 seconds there. If I click on people, I can see any comments that came up during the stream. Um, I can be interacting here, depending on which role I play in the recording. Uh, the transcript is automated. It takes a little bit after the recording, so it's got to go through to the voice to text, and then it'll post that transcript there, which becomes searchable.